Hello, you found me, excellent. My name's Beverly Hills and welcome to Storytime Online. Here in my tree house of tales, you can listen to stories from World Book Day's 2011 special one pound books. Your World Book Day token, if you have one, is a ticket to a world of imagination and adventure. Take one to a bookshop today and try for yourself. I've got some amazing stories lined up for you, so let's see who's waiting in the treehouse to read to us. Hello, my name's Tracy, and I'm going to be reading Danny's Smelly Toothbrush by Brinogue Brady Dawson with pictures by Michael Connor. Danny Brown looked at his toothbrush. The bristles were bent and twisted. That brush is no good anymore, said Mum. Put it in the bin. Danny was delighted. He hated brushing his teeth. My teeth are never dirty, Danny said. I always lick them clean. Later, Granny came to visit. She smiled at Danny. Look what I've got for you, she said. Granny opened her bag. She took out a bright new shiny yellow toothbrush. Danny was not pleased. I'm going to get rid of this toothbrush, he thought. But he smiled sweetly. Thanks, Granny, he said. It's so shiny, I'll take it upstairs right now. Danny went upstairs. He hated his new toothbrush. He hit the handle on the stairs. He hit it very hard, but the handle didn't break. Hey, you hairy face, said Danny. I'm going to destroy you. Suddenly, Danny had a wonderful idea. The loo, he said. I'll flush it down the loo. He dashed into the bathroom. He looked at his new toothbrush. You're dead, he said. Danny smiled. Then he lifted the toilet lid. Plop! The shiny new toothbrush fell into the water with a tiny splash. Danny closed the lid. He flushed the toilet. Goodbye forever, toothbrush, he sang. He grinned at himself in the bathroom mirror. Then slowly, he lifted the toilet lid and peeped inside. The new toothbrush was still there. It was bobbing about on top of the water. Danny! Mum was coming up the stairs. Mark and Darren are here, time to play. Oh no, said Danny. What do I do now? Danny rolled up his sleeve. He reached into the toilet. He fished out his shiny new toothbrush. Yuck, he said. Danny ran downstairs. He could feel the wet toothbrush in his pocket. Hi, Mark. Hi, Darren, he said. Let's go to the park. Then Danny called his dog. Come on, Kino, he said. Kino licked Danny's face. Big, wet licks. Yuck, said Danny. Danny and the boys set off. Guess what, said Danny to his friends. I need your help. I have to get rid of something. Darren was excited. Oh, sure, he said. What is it? Granny got me a new toothbrush, said Danny. Mum told her to. Mum's crazy about brushing teeth. I have to do it every morning and every night. I'm sick of it. Danny took the toothbrush from his pocket. I hate it, he said. It's a monster, said Mark. The three boys ran all the way to the park. Kino ran with them. Then Danny had an idea. Danny threw his toothbrush as far as he could. Fetch, Kino! Fetch, he yelled. Kino ran off. Soon he was back. He had the toothbrush in his mouth. It was wet all over. Danny, Mark and Darren had lots of fun with Kino and the toothbrush. Then they got tired. They sat down. Hey, said Danny, <laughs> smell my toothbrush now. The boys smelled Danny's brush. Oh, yuck, said Mark. <laughs> Wicked, said Darren. He held his nose. He pretended to faint. Danny and Mark laughed. Then Danny had another idea. Kino needs his hair brushed, he said. Let's use my toothbrush. The boys took turns brushing Kino's hair with Danny's new toothbrush. Soon it was full of dog hair. <laughs> it smells worse now, said Mark. That's because Kino needs a bath, said Danny. 
Let's go to the pond. The pond looked very green. This water is filthy, said Danny. Let's dip my toothbrush in. He dipped his toothbrush in the pond. Soon it was covered in green scum. It's the wicked pond monster, said Darren. Danny was having a great time. Getting rid of his toothbrush was fun. Suddenly, Mark saw someone coming. <gasps> Quick, he said. It's Connor Daly. Danny and his friends turned to go. Nobody liked the school bully, but Connor Daly saw them. What have you got there, Danny, he said. Connor grabbed the toothbrush. He laughed. That's a lovely toothbrush, Danny Brown, he said. Did it fall in the pond? Danny reached for the toothbrush, but Connor gave him a push. Not so fast, he said. There's something nasty in my shoe. Then Connor Daly cleaned his shoe with Danny's new toothbrush. He laughed loudly. <laughs> then he threw the toothbrush at Danny and ran off. But Danny was thrilled. Connor Daly had made a mess of his new toothbrush forever. Danny picked up the new toothbrush. It looked awful. It felt awful. It smelled awful. What do we do now, said Mark. This toothbrush is dead, said Danny. We'll have to bury it. Danny, Mark and Darren began to dig a big hole. Then they tossed the new toothbrush into the hole. They put clay on top. They patted the ground firmly. Gone forever, said Danny. He danced on the clay. Darren and Mark danced on it too. We have destroyed the wicked toothbrush, shouted Darren. The three boys cheered. Danny was delighted. It's gone, he cried. Gone, gone, gone. Hello, boys, called a voice. Danny looked around. It was Mum and Danny's little sister Susie. Huh, just in time, said Danny to his friends. We've brought a little picnic, said Mum. Who's hungry? Me, 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 yelled Danny, Mark and Darren together. They all sat down on the grass. Susie began to crawl. Go and explore, Susie, said Mum. Yes, Susie, give us some peace, said Danny. The boys laughed. After a while, Mum looked up. <laughs> Susie is digging again, she said. Susie loves digging. Soon, Susie came back. She had something in her mouth. Danny couldn't believe his eyes. Oh no, he cried. It's my new toothbrush. Mum took the toothbrush. Oh dear, she cried. Your lovely new toothbrush, Danny. Were you showing it off to your friends? Danny looked at the toothbrush. He was in trouble now. He felt sick. But Mum said, don't worry, I'll clean it. I've got a special cleaner. You'll be able to use it tonight, Danny, I promise. Danny thought of Connor Daly's dirty shoe. He thought of Kino's dribbles. He thought of the dirty pond. He thought of Susie's digging. And then Danny thought of the loo. Danny fell back on the grass. I'll never do anything like this again, he said. Never, never, never. But I think he will, don't you? He's just that sort of kid. Do you go to the library? Um, I use um, a website where you can buy books and I get my books from there. But what I do do is I share those books around. So anybody who likes books and we start talking about books, I lend them out. So maybe I'm my own little library. What type of books do you like? Um, I like all sorts of books. Sometimes I like history. Uh, sometimes I like fiction or biographies about other people, you know, famous people. Um, but mainly I like stories that I can really get involved in and that connect to me emotionally that I really can't put down. So I like those sorts of stories. And I also have an author that I like, Sarah Paretsky, who has thrillers and detective novels. And sometimes I like those as well. What type of books do you like to read to your children? 
I have two children and I've read to both of them and I love it. Sometimes I force my 13 year old to let me read to her and she's like, I can do it by myself, mum. And I said, no, I'd like to read, please let me. And she's reading um, The Spirit Gatherer, I think it's called uh, at the moment. And that's a fantasy set in a, a future world and I really enjoy that. I like doing all the voices. What books do you like to read to your children that you'd like to share? I'd like to tell you about a, a really great book called Hitler Stole Pink Rabbit, about a little girl who during the war was running away from Hitler's Germany and she has her pink rabbit with her and it's this big adventure about how they eventually get to safety. It's a super book.